everybody. Welcome to Enliven Wellness. This is where you learn how to heal yourself. What? Yes, it's true. My name is Tessa Gurley and I am really excited to be here. Welcome to my kitchen. Um, so you're going to get a little snippet. I don't even use this thing. It's, it was just installed when I moved in. Um, I use it for storage. Anyway, um, thank you to all my subscribers. Please like on this video or comment down below if you plan on trying the recipe I'm about to share with you today. So, welcome to your Quick Tip Thursday. It's a new thing I'm gonna start, and it's just gonna be a quick little tip about something that I like to do in my own health regimen, and perhaps will help you. So, if you haven't subscribed, subscribe, and comment down below if you plan on using this recipe, and your favorite part about it, or something that you just learned today. I love your feedback. As always, if you'd like to work with me one-on-one, -on -one, email me down below with the subject line, I'm ready, and we'll get you in. And we'll get you to learn how to heal yourself. It's pretty cool. Pretty cool stuff. Um, I also join me for YouTube Live every Tuesday night, 6.30 p.m. Mountain Standard Time. I go live and answer questions, usually with a specific topic in mind. So today I'm going to teach you the little drink that I use before I eat my meals to optimize digestion. And bonus, piss off parasites. So here we go. I'm gonna get my little cup here, my little enlivened cup. Yup, yup. And, all right, the products you will need. Two of them, very easy to get. The other two, you'd probably have to order, but I'll tell you how to do it. You need basic pepper, apple cider vinegar, raw, Bragg's. And I know a lot of you people, a lot of you guys are gonna be like, histamine issues? I'll explain. Digestive bitters from a company called Vitality Herbs and Clay. An herb called Vidanga. I will provide links for both of these in the description box down below. You probably know where to get these, your health food store. And if you guys want a little enlivened mug, let me know and I can provide you the link to go buy one of these. Support, 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 support the enlivened mission, which is again to bring this kind of super simple practical information to those of you out there, okay? So what do I do? So what you'll need are some measuring spoons. And I like to get one teaspoon, not tablespoon, one teaspoon of apple cider vinegar. I put that in the cup, okay? So we would put that in the cup. Next, I'm going to take a dash, a dash. You put your fingers in, you put a dash of pepper into the cup. Mmm. You then take a half teaspoon, one half teaspoon, one half teaspoon of the digestive bitters. You put that in the cup. And then you take a quarter teaspoon one quarter teaspoon of Vidanga into your cup. You then get about mm, this much hot water. Pour it into the cup, mix it up a little bit, and then sip it down before your meal. About, you know, 10 minutes before you plan on eating. Now, what does this do for you? It creates heat in your stomach that increases your stomach acid naturally. Option as well is to get some regular mustard powder or hot mustard powder. This will create more heat in your stomach, in your digestive, in your stomach to increase your stomach acid naturally. Now you might be saying, oh my gosh, I've got histamine issues. What about the apple cider vinegar? Like for one, 
histamine issues mainly, surprise, surprise, stem from, can you guess? Cooked meat. What? Yeah, cooked animal proteins cause the largest spike in histamine that I've ever experienced. Yep, some of you know that I'm a big proponent of raw meat. I know, freaky, right? Don't let that turn this channel off. There's a reason. There's a lot of research around it. But in the meantime, so optional, add hot or regular mustard powder. And that would just be a little bit, like a little dash. Now you might be like, that's gonna taste horrendous. Well, it kind of does, right? But these are, this, this will stimulate your stomach acid. This will help stimulate gallbladder, liver, um, all of these things. Again, with the apple cider vinegar and the histamine issues, start little. We have to kind of expose ourselves to some of the things that we're having problems with. It's just like the theory around taking honey from local bees in order to decrease your allergies because you're exposed to little micro doses of the pollen. So when I first started back on apple cider vinegar after being off of it for two years, because I was so afraid of it, I did have a slight little histamine thing, but I was still eating cooked meat and I went too much too fast. Microdose. So you microdose the apple cider vinegar and then you can work your way up to one teaspoon. Okay? And maybe even one tablespoon, who knows? But that is why we do little micro doses of that. So anyway, guys, pepper, vidanga, digestive bitters, optional, add the mustard powder, apple cider vinegar, one teaspoon apple cider vinegar, quarter, table, quarter teaspoon vidanga, a dash of pepper, a dash of mustard if you're using mustard, a half teaspoon of the digestive bitters, quarter cup, hot water, mix, sip on it, 15 minutes before you plan on eating, and you will have better digestion. Thank you so much for being here. I love you all so much. Let's build this channel, let's make it known. I'm, I love working one-on-one, -on -one, but I'm also really open to doing small groups. Let me know if you're interested in either. Reach out, email down below. In the meantime, I'm really excited about my longer video later this week, and I'll give you a preview, the truth behind multiple chemical sensitivities. Oh. Have a wonderful night. Talk to you later. Bye.